Uh, yes, okay. Um, and so we'll just ask you to put your hold off on your questions until the end. Uh, the Q&A is not enabled on this session, but the chat is. We'll also be monitoring, mo monitoring the chat uh, throughout the um, session as well and the lightning talks. And I, my name is Lori Podolsky. I'll be your moderator for today. And in addition, we have Eric Martin, who will be our tech support. Our code of conduct monitor, and that is David Sorella. Our Q&A observer is Hilary Wang. As well, Eric will also be our slide wrangler, so he will be helping us out there as well, too. Thank you all for doing these jobs, these roles. <clears throat> and um, if you have, as I said, any questions, um, please use the chat feature and drop your questions in there. You can also ask questions anonymously if you want, and, um, we, um, and I can grab them from there as well. You can just send them directly to me. We have two presenters who will be speaking on in the lightning talk session, and each presenter will have approximately 10 minutes uh, as we have a little bit more time. Our first speaker is Doreen Dixon from Drake University. Thank you very much for being here and presenting. I'm looking forward to your talk, which is entitled New Archivist at Work, Developing a Digital Preservation Program. And our Second presenter is Keith Pendergrass from Harvard Business School. And he will be looking at a low-tech solution for mediated delivery of born digital materials. So I'm excited to hear what both of you have to say, as this is gonna be very interesting for all the work that we do. And I, as I said, I'm very excited to hear about these as they are going to be presenting uh, amazing efforts on behalf of organizations that have spent a lot of time about thinking about digital preservation and services. I also would like to remind everyone that following Friday afternoon, a post, um, a post forum survey will be sent out and I encourage everyone to fill it out and send it back so we can know what kind of topics for next year, what we did well and where we can improve. So without further ado, we're going to start with Doreen and then followed by Keith. And again, thank you very, very much for um, presenting today. Thanks, Lori. Good morning, everyone. I'm Doreen Dixon, and I'm the Electronic Records Archivist at Drake University Archives and Special Collections in Des Moines, Iowa. I'm a new archivist and I've been in the profession for just two years. Today, I'll share my journey navigating the profession while building a digital preservation program from scratch. I'll discuss several areas, the first being the adjustment period of the new role, implementing a plan to manage the learning curve, navigating the archival profession while simultaneously building the program, I'll also talk about a few challenges and successes encountered throughout the process and valuable lessons learned from the journey. Next slide, please. In December 2021, I joined the Drake University Archives and Special Collections as the electronic records archivist tasked with developing the digital preservation program. This marked my first position as an archivist and it required that I relocated from New York. Before working in archives, I worked in public libraries and the transition and the transition therefore was filled with multiple changes. It meant a new career path, new job, new skill sets and a completely new state. The transition evoked feelings of inadequacy, isolation and a fear of not meeting expectations. In order to manage this, I decided to implement a plan. The plan helped me to smoothly transition into my new role and allowed me to be effective and productive while building confidence and competence in my work. There were five parts to this plan. 
I'm sorry. Can you go to the next slide, please? Thank you. <laughs> there are five parts. Of, no, sorry, you were at the correct one. Thanks. There are five parts to this plan. The first one being finding support. I found support in participating in professional organizations, university groups, and discussion groups. I attended conferences and subscribed to listservs. I also asked a lot of questions and took a lot of notes. Many of my notes ended up becoming documents, documents such as a processing manual for born digital materials, the beginnings of a digital preservation policy, and a file naming convention guide. I also prioritized tasks that would help me to identify critical areas that needed to be addressed first. Finally, I sought learning opportunities. I've pursued, the profession, I've pursued professional development opportunities in SAA's DAS certification program. And currently I'm participating in the Digital Power Peer Assessment Program. Next slide, please. Thank you. Uh, navigating the archival profession while building the program has been challenging, yet enriching. I've connected with other professionals through my participation in professional organizations and attending conferences. I've learned industry specific terminologies and practices, used technologies and tools like the Big Curator environment, Terracopy and QuickView Plus. In addition, I've gained insights into institutional culture and workflows that help me to identify areas within the institution for providing learning and training opportunities to faculty, staff, and students. It's also helped me to develop clear goals and objectives, which have been instrumental in creating various documents for the program. Finally, I've collaborated across disciplines with individuals on campus. Presently, I'm collaborating with a professor in the math and computer science department to, to recruit computer science students to assist me with archival work. Through incremental efforts, I am laying the groundwork for the program by leveraging technology, organization, and available resources. Next slide, please. I've experienced several challenges and successes while building the program. Challenges included includes limited resources and budget constraints, balancing competing priorities, and a general lack of awareness from stakeholders. In terms of the lack of awareness, my position is the first of its kind at the institution, and therefore many individuals and departments are unfamiliar with digital preservation and its relevance to their work. On the flip side, I've been able to increase, I've been able to increase awareness and, and, and engagement from stakeholders by providing presentations on the management of born digital materials through the institution's continuing education program. I've also implemented a digital preservation multiple digital, digital preservation workflow and built a digital curation workstation. Next slide, please. This is the workstation that I set up last year with help from IT. Hardware consists of a partition hard drive that hosts both the Linux and Windows operating system. It also has a write blocker, floppy disk drive, a floppy, a floppy disk um, controller card, a disk, a optimal, optical di media disk drive, and a zip drive. Software on the Windows side includes Droid, Terracopy, and Karen's directory printer. Next slide, please. Throughout my journey, I've learned a, a, a plethora of le lessons, but I'll just address four of them today. 
One being that the management of the learning curve is essential for your professional and personal growth. Also, that challenges can be overcome. If we approach challenges with a mindset of perseverance, resilience, and adapt adaptability, it increases our potential for success. Third, I recommend that you give yourself grace. Be kind to yourself and allow room for growth and improvement. And finally, prioritize self-care. Remember, you're more than your work. And to anyone that's new to digital preservation work or in, is in a similar position as I am, I recommend that you never as hesitate to ask questions. Asking questions is a sign of initiative and a willingness to learn. Be assured that you can navigate the complexities of digital preservation with confidence, resilience, and a commitment to continuous growth and improvement. Thank you. Thank you so much, Doreen, for that. That was amazing. And uh, there's a lot of things I learned from your presentation as well being in a new position myself. Um, so I'm very glad for that. Thank you. If I can just quickly yeah. add, I have tons of notes in my slide because I know the time was short. So if anyone's interesting, interested, I have a lot of notes in my slide. Oh, thank you so much. That will be great. And perhaps you can share some of that with us when we during the Q&A se session um, following Keith Pendergrass's presentation. So over to you, Keith and Keith and Doreen. Um, these were great lightning talks, and I have a ton of questions myself. But um, before I start, I do notice that there's a there's several in the chat. It's blowing up. 